Hi, my name is Kyle and welcome to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. And today, Easter is almost here. Guess what I'm making? Bunny cake. That's right. Bunny cake is so easy to make. Here are the ingredients and tools that you're going to need for it. You're going to need two 8-inch round cakes that you're going to prepare the cake mix according to package direction on the back of the box. I'm going to be using Duncan Heights French Vanilla Cake Mix. You can also use any kind of cake mix you want, like strawberries, chocolate, whatever you want for it. You're also going to need two 14 ounce can of Duncan Heights whipped frosting, has been the flavor of vanilla. You can use chocolate, you can use buttercream, you can have any store bars, you can make your own frosting from scratch, but you have to need two cans of this. Now you're also going to need some white chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, colored sprinkles, flavored mini marshmallows. You can also use jelly beans, gumdrops, either whatever type of candies you want. If you like, you can also use colored fondant or more decorative of writing tips with the piping bag. And you're also going to need for food coloring to color in with the chocolate. And finally, you're going to need the cake board. It has to be 50 by 23 inch cake board. Wrap it up with aluminum foil real tight to tape it down on the bottom. If you don't have cake board, what I like to do, I can substitute to make you use cardboard to do for the cake board. It measure about 15 by 20 inch so if you have your own cake board but go ahead it's up to you for that so we got everything together so let's get started okay first you're going to score the round of the cake with the back of the knife before cutting it one cake will be the face of the bunny while the other cake will be the bow tie and the ears leave one hole and with the other cut the ears and bow tie so you want to make sure to cut a curved screw from one side and one from the other as if you were cutting the North Pole and South Pole away from the map of the Earth. Once you cut with the bow ties and the ears, we're going to arrange the body of the bunny where the ears, the heads, and bow ties, how it's going to be on the cake. These two scoops will be the ears, the shape left in the middle will be the bow tie. And now you're ready to assemble the cake on the board. Alright, next you're going to frost the entire cake using with the vanilla frosting that I'm going to be using with the store-bought one. Just give it a nice crumb coating. Now you want to make sure to cover the whole cake using with the spatula. I'm using with the frosting spatula. It works spreadable. It should look like this one. Don't forget the sizes with the ears and bow ties. So once you frost the cake to crumb coating, it's time to decorate the bunny. I already melt the white chocolate chip in the microwave for 2 minutes. I stir it with a spoon and then I add the pink food coloring to make it brighter pink. Transfer it into the resealable plastic sandwich baggie and snip it in a little corner. That's going to be for the ears and the nose. I'm going to draw an outline of the ears and the nose and then I'm going to color in. You can also use Wilton candy melts as well. Or evenly you can also use a tube of decorating frosting if desired. You can use shredded coconuts to sprinkle on the frosted cake or if you like you can also cover the sheet of fondant after you frost the cake to smooth in. Then I'm going to stick in two chocolate chips for the eyes. And I almost forgot to tell you, you can also use butterscotch chips just to give a caramel flavor. I like to melt the milk chocolate chips that we did the same as the white chocolate chips. Draw the outline of the nose in the pink, then the mouth. Don't forget the whiskers. You can use the liquid straps or the twizzlers for the bunny's whiskers. Now for the fun part. I like to stick the miniature marshmallows on the middle of the bunny's bow tie to make the puffy circle. Just give that nice and fluffy. And the lastly not least, I'm going to sprinkle with the colorful rainbow sprinkles on the bow ties. That goes side by side in the middle of the marshmallows. And here's the finished bunny cake ready to celebrate for Easter Day. I'm going to show my bunny cake that I'm going to send into Cakes by Chopper, my Cupcake Edition, Charlie's Crafty Kitchen, Cupcakes, Cookies and Cardio, and lots and lots and lots and lots more. If you like more recipes, please give me a big thumbs up for everybody, leave me a comment below, and then don't forget to subscribe. I hope you're gonna love those bunny. As always, Happy Easter!